We're all familiar with the idea that dogs and cats don't always get along, but they're not the only animals in the world that don't see eye to eye. From million year feuds at the micro scale to whales waging war in the ocean, let's take a look at the relationships of animals that absolutely hate each other. Honey Badgers vs. Killer Bees don't be deceived. Despite its sweet name, the honey badger is one of nature's toughest creatures. Despite being the same size as a small dog, they can hold their own against a huge number of threats, which even includes fighting back against lions. Its ballsiness has earned it the title of world's most fearless animal from the Guinness Book of World Records, and no one laments that title more than African honeybees. Commonly known as killer bees, this species is incredibly defensive when it comes to protecting the hive and often swarm in huge numbers to chase off predators. Despite the name, their stings are no more potent than a regular bee. It's just the sheer quantity, frequency, and aggression of the stings that make them so dangerous. In large enough numbers, they can overpower creatures far larger than their own size, with around a thousand stings thought to be enough to kill a human. However, their beef with the honey badger lies in its thick fur coat because their stings can't penetrate it. On top of that, a life spent hunting venomous animals gives the honey badger a mild, built-up resistance to venom, including venom delivered via bee stings. So when the honey badger breaks into a wild hive to reach some of its favorite high-energy food, the bees have a seriously hard time stopping it. The badger does get stung around less protected areas like the face, but the resilient brute powers through the pain. Put simply, honey badger don't care. Spiders versus birds. You may be thinking that birds have a notable advantage over spiders in terms of their size. And while it's true that little garden spiders make a tasty snack for garden variety birds and even chickens, the tables turn when you look at these nightmare inducing arachnids. The Goliath bird eater and golden silk orb weaver both have the capacity to catch and eat birds. Able to reach a leg span of around 11 inches, the bird eater is actually a ground-dwelling species of spider. It pounces on its prey and subdues it with a neurotoxin powerful enough to incapacitate birds, ready for eating. This hunting method certainly helps level the playing field against spider-eating birds, but not as horrifyingly as the golden orb weavers does. This eight-legged terror spins some of the world's largest and most durable webs, which are capable of snatching birds right out of the air. Once the prey has exhausted itself trying to fight free, the orb weaver strikes with its venom, and treating it like a family-sized bag of chips, the spider nibbles away at its prize for days and even weeks until there's nothing left. <laughs> ants versus termites. Termites and ants are two kinds of pests that you definitely don't want in your home. But even though termites can be defeated by the mighty forces of pest control, the biggest threat to these wood-hungry creatures is ants. Despite the two species being about the same size and colonizing in similar ways, termites primarily consume the cellulose found in wood, while ants rely on sugar and protein. And do you know what contains sugar and protein and is available in vast quantities? Termites. The cellulose termites eat breaks down into simple sugars, making them the perfect afternoon protein pick-me-up for an ant. These two species are thought to have been adversaries for over a hundred million years thanks to the termites' perfectly balanced nutritional value for ants. But how are ants able to overpower entire termite colonies? The answer is in the numbers. Hundreds of millions of ants can make up one colony, while termite colonies typically only contain up to one million individuals. When ants invade a termite nest, they use alarm signals to track their prey and swarm quickly and highly aggressively, so termite defenses are rapidly overwhelmed and outnumbered by the ants. Before the termites know what hit them, it's already over. Another reason to be grateful ants prefer termites to human meat. Grizzly Bears vs. Gray Wolves Grizzly bears have been the top predator of America's Yellowstone National Park for almost 100 years, ever since the area's gray wolves were hunted to eradication in the 1920s. But conservation efforts recently reintroduced the wolves to the park, and while their numbers are growing, the grizzlies are far from happy. The two species are confined to the same space fighting for similar food and territory. While grizzly bears are omnivorous, gray wolves are carnivores, meaning wolves have more to lose if the parties fight over a kill. But even though a grizzly can weigh almost 10 times as much as a single wolf, these bears usually hunt alone. Working together, a pack of wolves can easily outnumber a single grizzly, but outnumbering it doesn't always equate to overpowering. 
The bite strength of a grizzly bear can exceed 1,200 pounds per square inch, only slightly outperforming most wolves, but still enough to chop through an iron skillet. But where the grizzly gets its real advantage is its size. With a thick hide, enormous swiping paws and claws, they're usually able to hold off the wolves through intimidation alone. And one such reported incident, a bear kept 24 wolves at bay while it took over a kill the wolves had made. No wonder they don't get along. Those bears have terrible table manners. Ants versus ants. Human wars can last a long time, but ant colonies have been at war with each other for over a hundred million years. Various species of ants have been fighting for so long and reproducing with even more enthusiasm that ants now make up about 20% of the entire biomass on land. In the struggle for supremacy, different ant species and colonies remained constantly at war with one another and one of the most destructive of these species being the army ant. With millions of workers per colony, these ants can form huge columns over 300 feet long, allowing them to kill and transport more than 3,000 pieces of prey every hour. These include insects and small vertebrates, but some of their favorite prey are other ant species. Whenever they encounter a new species, the constantly roving bands of army ants will attack with the intention to totally destroy the rival colony. Many colonies fight back, but the aggression and sheer number of the army ants usually helps them win, though often at huge losses. Ants killing ants. Talk about being your own worst enemy. Mongooses versus venomous snakes. It takes an incredible amount of agility, speed, and fearlessness to try and take on a fatally venomous snake, which is exactly what the mongoose does. It's a non-discriminatory predator, meaning it will eat almost any animal providing it can kill it. And toxic fanged snakes are no exception. The mongoose's reptile rival's main defense mechanisms are venomous bites combined with incredibly quick reflexes. Effective against most adversaries, sure, but the mongoose has thick fur which is difficult for most snakes to penetrate with their fangs. Even if a bite does land, the mongoose has an ace up its furry little sleeves. Immunity to venom. This incredible ability is all thanks to specialized receptors in its muscles. The neurotoxins in snake venom would usually attach to these receptors and take effect, with venom from snakes like black mambas capable of killing an adult human within 30 minutes. But with a mongoose, these toxins can't bind to the receptors, so the venom is effectively neutralized. A few bites from the snake can certainly slow the mongoose down, but the mongoose's dexterity usually ends in a belly full of snake rather than vice versa. The mongoose's uniquely mutated receptors has kept this feud kicking for a millennia and is arguably even more fierce than online debates over Apple versus Android. Killer Whales versus Great White Sharks Despite being one of the world's largest predatory fish, great white sharks are utterly terrified of orca whales. These giant sharks bolt from their feeding grounds whenever orcas pass through, and some are so scared that they don't return for over a year. But what is it about orcas that has great whites turning tail so quickly? Well, orcas are more commonly known as killer whales, and with good reason. These carnivores will hunt just about any animal they can get their jaws around, including fish, birds, and even deer passing through their waters. Their biggest hunting advantage comes from being the smartest and most social animals in the sea, and they often use teamwork to bring down prey. While an orca might be at risk in a one-on-one -on -one with a great white, orca pods, occasionally observed to contain over 30 whales, have no problems killing the ocean's most feared predator. And it's not a pretty end for the sharks, as you can see from this orca attack victim that washed up on the beaches of South Africa. Fascinatingly, orcas appear to specifically target the shark's livers, as their fatty content helps the whales maintain buoyancy. So not only are orcas the killers of the sea, they're the butchers too. Lions versus Hyenas The story of the Lion King seems more like a documentary when you look at the real life rivalry between lions and hyenas. These warring factions share competing interests in the same landscape. They cover the same ground, hunt the same prey, and scavenge the same remains. But despite the cackling noises hyenas make, It's certainly no laughing matter. While lions can be almost twice the size of hyenas, hyena packs have been observed to consist of up to 130 individuals. By contrast, even the largest lion prides only contain up to 40 individuals. 
On top of that, hyenas have an incredibly powerful bite of 1,100 pounds per square inch, easily enough to crush bones. And it's almost twice as powerful as that of a lion, which can only exert about 650 pounds per square inch. So even though lions are the top predators of the African plains, hyenas will attack them over food and territory when the odds are in their favor. Forget about the Lion King. This seems closer to the Hunger Games. Polar Bears versus Walruses While polar bears are sometimes called the king of the Arctic, the mighty mustached walrus is an equally powerful creature with the ability to occasionally usurp them. Polar bears usually hunt prey smaller than themselves like seals or fish. So thanks to the walrus's gargantuan size, which can tip the scales at around one and a half tons, polar bears, which only usually weigh around 900 pounds, don't normally hunt them. And as walruses mainly eat mollusks, there's usually no reason for them to attack polar bears. However, in dire times, the sight of a big blubbery walrus can be a little too tempting for a hungry polar bear. Encounters like this can be deadly, but not because the walrus is in danger. Those giant ivory tusks growing out of the walrus's face aren't just for display. They can prove a deadly weapon when thrust with the full momentum of a one and a half ton animal. Not only that, walruses usually make up part of a larger herd, so an attacking bear can end up massively outnumbered, facing an army of knife-faced blubber sacks. More often than not, the polar bear will be forced to retreat, realizing they bit off more than they could chew. Crocodiles versus Hippos Although you'd never expect it while they're babies, hippos are one of the most aggressive animals on Earth. But seeing as they share their natural habitat with crocodiles, they need to be. African Nile crocodiles are carnivorous and can tear through prey with a terrifying jaw strength of approximately 5,000 pounds per square inch. That's enough to rip the arm or leg off a human with all the ease of tear and share bread. While a hippo could make for a sizable meal, Nile crocodiles are usually smart enough to know that attacking those animals would mean a world of hurt. That's because hippopotamuses can weigh up to four and a half tons, while even the largest crocodile rarely reaches one ton, meaning hunting adult hippos is almost impossible for one crocodile alone. What's more, hippos usually travel in large herds. This means they have the upper hand in a fight in both size and number, even if their bite force tops out at 2,000 pounds per square inch, less than half their scaly adversaries. With hippos undisputedly ruling the river, the crocodiles are forced to submit, even if that means acting as chew toys for some of the younger members. Which of these animals do you think hates its rival the most? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.